Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Prime Time coming at y'all today with something a little bit different. We're gonna be coming at y'all with a little mini scheme. It's something that I like to run in Ultimate Team. Uh, a lot of also uh, pro players run this scheme. Uh, one in particular, AKG. He he's a uh, he runs this out of <clears throat> he runs this pretty much the entirety of his games. If y'all ever watch him. He's really, really, really effective with it. Uh, so the scheme that we're going to be running is out of Trips Tight End. And I'm going to be running it out of the New England <coughs> Patriots playbook just because, in my opinion, <coughs> I think that, excuse me, I think that the New England playbook is, if not the best, one of the best um, playbooks in the game. It's got so many different things you can do with it. Um, and this Trips Tight End uh formation is really 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 effective um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and the first play that i'm going to show you guys is going to be drive post all right we're gonna show you drive post and we're gonna show you against a cover three look yeah i'll go ahead and a lot of people like they'll, they'll base the line and you know, put these guys in cloud flats something like this right so what I like to do is, I like to send this tight end on a streak, okay? Because that will pull, that will pull, you see this, you see these zones right here, as you see that, that will, it will, that streak will pull um, the hook zone up, and it also catches the attention of that deep blue. So it lets, it lets open a lot of, a couple of these other routes. Uh, we have uh, almost like a drag route by Julio with a little curve to it. We got a drag by uh, Taylor Gabriel, and then we have a post route by Mohamed Sanu. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show y'all guys how this gets open, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna motion Gabriel over to the right side, and just past the tight end, we're gonna snap it. And you see, boom, we have Taylor Gabriel at least there. That's always an easy dump off route. Always, always, always hit your drag routes, guys. Just, just hit them. If, the, if they're open, hit them because you can always make somebody miss. You know, hit them with a spin or a juke or something, and that's an easy 10 to 15 yard pickup right there. You know what I mean? If they, if they miss, it's an easy pickup. All right, so we're gonna do it again. This time we are going to leave the defense in deep. And we're gonna leave the defense in purples. We're not gonna baseline them. Uh, we're just gonna play a regular uh, cover three look. And see how it looks against that. We're gonna snap it just past the tight end. And just look how everything gets up. Look at Muhammad Sanu. Boom! That's a freaking dot, man. You see how it pulled? You see how he pulled all these or all these defenders got pulled back. And I'm just gonna show you how it worked. So we motioned we motioned Taylor Gabriel over, which catches the attention of the corner for a second, right? It also catches the attention of this linebacker you see how he's facing him right there and then boom we got this drag route I mean the streak right here the streak grabs the attention of the corner look at look at how the corner and the safety are playing on the streak they're both bunched uh, you can see they're both pretty much tight to him right they're they're cutting off that deep route and with this drag going across it holds these two these two linebackers right here you, this drag going across holds these two linebackers down and look at this freaking pocket that we have. Look at the pocket right here. We have nothing but open space. And that is why we are able to find Muhammad Sanu, boom, wide open. They have, you can see they have no chance. They have no chance of breaking on that. Even 91 zone players, they don't break on this. They won't break on it at all. Your your linebacker, the, your the opponent will have to be using a linebacker, one of these linebackers, if he wants to take away this route. But then he takes away that route and you see Julio comes open. There's just a lot of other things that happen. But we're gonna go ahead and run it again. As you see, putting my tight end on a streak. And we're gonna go ahead and motion Taylor Gabriel over. And you'll see Muhammad Sanu will come wide open. Wide open, just like that, man. It's, it's simple. It's so, so simple. Super simple, man. So now we're going to go ahead. 
I'm gonna show you the same play, and we're gonna show you against a cover four look. I'm gonna show you against a cover four. <laughs> He's on the field. And we're gonna do the same thing, guys. We're gonna go put Austin Hooper on a streak. Motion Taylor Gabriel over. Now, you don't have to put him on a streak every time. I just prefer to do that. We're gonna put him on a streak. Motion Taylor Gabriel over, and look. Oh, if I didn't get sacked right there. But y'all saw. You saw. If I hadn't have gotten sacked right there, look. Just watch Muhammad Sanu. Look at him get wide open. Like, bruh. Look at how much space is right there. See, I should have thrown it. I should have thrown. I could have even thrown the ball right here. And that, that play is open. You know what I mean? Because look at what these two drag routes do. The, these drag routes hold these defenders right here. They hold them right at the line of scrimmage, uh, right past the line of scrimmage. And that just allows, that just allows Muhammad Sanu to get deep right back behind here. As you see, look at all this open space. Like, look at it. This dude is 10 yards back. The safety is 10 yards back. There's no freaking way on planet Earth unless he is Jesus Christ, the reincarnation himself. There's no way he's going to break on this ball and get to that and get to Muhammad Sanu. We're going to go ahead and run it one more time, though, just so y'all see. Probably shouldn't have chose the Eagles as a defense. Their pass rush is so freaking nasty. They've been getting block shots like crazy. But anyways, can go here, hike it again, and boom, you see him. Wide open. Wide freaking open over the middle. Guys, and this, just this one play alone can do so much damage to an opponent if they do not know how to adjust. One play alone can do so much freaking damage. And this time, we're not going to hit Muhammad Sanu, but look look at the drag route. If you just take the drag, that's still, that's another four or five yards. You know what I mean? That's another four or five yards, just like that. So that's that's not the only option. You know, this post route is not the only option that you have. Um, however, if there's no, if like if you're playing a D-line user or something, just look, boom. Low pass it. Low passing is glitchy. Don't take a hit, so he won't get the he won't get uh the ball knocked loose because this this streak route is gonna pull this linebacker in the hook zone, and he's going to ride that. He's gonna take it, and boom, we just have him wide freaking open right there. You see what I mean? And just go ahead and take a look at this again. Just look at what this tight end does. So not only does he gain the attention of this left outside linebacker, so he's got to play it for a second. But then look at this middle linebacker. This dude is not, this middle linebacker is not in a deep blue. He is in a hook zone. But because the, the middle of the field is wide open, he's got to take this, this streak or, or the dude's just going to score. Or he's just going to run right up the middle of the field. And when he does that, you see how the safeties are parting, right? You see how far apart they are? They have to split because they're in the deep halves. That leaves Muhammad Sanu's route wide open again. And you see right here, because he's in cloud flats, this dude turns into like man coverage. So, you know, boom, just he breaks it off right there. And if you got a good receiver with really good route running, that's gonna be money every single play. And that's not even, look at these drag routes. You see how it pulled this dude away? Now look at that drag route right here. You see Taylor Gabriel wide open. And who's who's over here? Look, I got three defenders right here on this post route. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Freeman, block him. And always block the running back, guys. It just gives you some extra protection. And then right here. We're gonna go and boom, look, you see that wide open over the middle. That's Julio Jones on a dump off route. That's that's Julio on a dump off getting, you know, what was that? Eight, ten yards? Whatever it is. And we're gonna see, we're we'll putting him in the deep blue again. Now I can't use her both the offense and the defense, but I mean you see you see how it works. <laughs> And you see, look, boom, wide open. Cause it, that streak, the streak takes both of those linebackers. Even though this linebacker is in a, even though the left outside linebacker, the right of screen linebacker, even though he's in a deep blue, that middle linebacker runs with this, runs with this streak. All right, yeah. But anyway, all right, so we're gonna run it one more time. Just watch how this works. 
look at them. Both of them go. Both of them go, and we have the middle of the field wide open. That's easy money right there. So that is that's drive post. That's one of my favorite plays out of the trips tight end. The bun uh yeah, trips tight end. The PA slot corner. And this play is so so glitchy. We're gonna just show you out of a we're gonna show you out of a nickel nickel four three or a uh, cover three, I mean. And let's go actually and this right here. Guys. So what I like to do. And you see what I'm doing. If I see anybody come out in a cover three look, this is my go-to play. I'm going to put Julio Jones on an out route. <coughs> Keep Taylor Gabriel on that post route. I'm blocking my tight end and my running back right now just because I like the extra time. And you put Mohamed Sanu on a fade route. Okay, you put that inside receiver. You want that to be your fastest receiver, even though Mohamed Sanu is not the fastest receiver, obviously, for the Falcons. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put him on this fade route. And... And that's all you do. It's simple. It's a simple adjustment. And we're going to go here. All right, let's see how this does. I'm going to press. All right, let's see how this does. There it goes. Just, oh, look at that beautiful freaking man. Just look at it. Torch everything, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And, guys, a lot of people, they love to press. They love to press. Even if you, you don't even have to base a line and press. If you just press, this this play is it's like magic right here. It's like freak, just watch Julio get wide open. Wide open, and bro, there it is. That's all it is. Just like that. That's a simple, simple setup. Easy cover three beater. Easy, easy cover three beater right there. All right. But say they're in a, say they're in, you know, the, you see them, they're in a cover two, right? So we're gonna go ahead, put this guy in a deep blue. Oh my all right, we're gonna put this guy in a deep blue. We have him here. I like to. I'm still gonna streak. Austin Hooper, right? So now they're in a cover three. They're in a cover two look. And I'm going to go and motion over Julio Jones this time. Go to motion Julio and just... And just let it happen. Boom! Look at it. It's open. Because that, that tight... You see... In this, in this play... Again, the tight end is so effective because it... It carry it makes both of these linebackers run with him. Both of these linebackers run with him. They have to run with him. They have to respect that deep shriek. And it just leaves everything else wide open over the middle of the field. Like look, boom. I got multiple options right there. I have like three or four players. I have three I have all three of my receivers that I can throw to on that play simply because of what that, that tight end streak does. Simply because of what that streak does to these linebackers. As you see, we're gonna go ahead, put him again in a Tampa two. Move this guy over. Look, you can even move this guy in if you wanted to. Like, it, it's really not even gonna matter. It's really not even gonna matter. And just watch it happen. Boom, 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 boom. Even, even with the heavy pass rush, right, you see how wide open they got. <laughs> We'll go ahead and take a look at it again. You see, look, just watch this tight end. Watch what, watch what the tight end does, man. Look at both of these. Look at both of these fools right here running, <laughs> running, just running, man. Look at them. They don't know what to. Do. And look, look at how open these two get. These two get open. This corner is running with this, with this, with this uh post route. When he's running with this post route, because it puts him in a. Uh, man coverage, I guess. Look at look at Sanu. Look at this route open. Just look at it, man. I don't have to go over the middle if I'm uncomfortable with that. If I think that they're gonna middle linebacker, when I throw the ball, that middle linebacker tries to break down on this, but he's just he's too slow. Even if he even if he were to though, 
if you if you felt uncomfortable throwing this, because I mean obviously both of these dudes are running running with it, just look at just take the underneath route, take the drag route. That's an easy right there. That's an easy ten. I'm seeing look five at least seven eight yards right there. Just an easy. And if you if you let him go a little bit longer, he is that he is the sideline, and it's off to the races. Like look, there's nobody over here, nobody. It's a really, really good play. It's a really good play. Sorry, guys. We're going to show you slot corner one more time. And we're going to show it against a cover four look. And we're going to show you just, just like earlier what is going to happen. And I'm actually going to go, I'm going to shift the line left, see if we can get some extra blocking. That way I can roll out. And what happened there? I have no idea. Matt, Matt Ryan went under fake pressure. All right, we're gonna do it again. And just look at him get open. There you go. <laughs> Julio, hold on to the ball, man. Hold on to the ball. All right, we gotta get a completion with this at least. So y'all aren't gonna be like, oh, no, it doesn't really work. No, it does. It does really work. And just, Matt Ryan, there you go. Get it there. There it goes right there. Even under pressure, there it goes. Just like that. Alright, so there is two. There is two. You saw you saw how it worked. I showed you the setup. It's the same setup for a cover three beater, too. Same setup as your cover three beater. Alright, and the next play we're gonna show you is this PA counter go. I know this video is getting a little a little long right now, but it, it's alright. It's alright. We're gonna we're gonna be ending it here on this play. This is gonna be the last play that I show you. These three plays alone, uh, especially with like, and then you mix in the halfback dive and the mid, uh, the halfback draw. Um, these three plays alone, uh, they do so much damage. All right, you know what? I need some time here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these two guys on spies. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on a spy. All right, so we're gonna streak the tight end, and you see like, you see how it's got that that curve. He's almost got like a curved post route. Julio Jones does. And we got this like deep, deep, deep out route uh, by Taylor Gabriel. I like to motion him over and have him come back over the middle because nine times out of ten, the user is going to follow the that inside receiver on the post route because he's not going to be expecting this uh, this wide receiver, uh, that slot receiver. They're not going to be expecting him to come back over the middle, to come back over the middle. Uh, and so yeah, it really throws him off. So just watch. We're gonna go here and. Boom, look at Julio. This is against a, oh, that, was that Julio? Yeah, look at that. You saw how that, that route got open? Let's go ahead and go look at it real quick. Let's go ahead and go look at it real quick. Watch it how Julio gets wide open. He comes screaming across the field and you see that, that uh, streak route right there pulls, not only is he pulling, uh, the, the linebacker but he's also pulling that corner as well and because Taylor Gabriel is coming on this route the safety that came down he's worried about him safety is worried about Taylor Gabriel nobody is worried about Julio once he gets past all of this right they don't have time to react and because Taylor Gabriel is still on his route that safety is not gonna drop back he's not gonna drop back at all and this, once the uh, linebacker stops playing him, it's a wrap. Boom, look at how wide open he gets. Just look, there's nobody covering this man. And that's why you're able to get a, that's that's a 20 yard play right there. Twin, that's a 20 yard, 30 yard play right there. Super, super easy. Put Hooper on a drag right here. Put Hooper on a drag right and just see, see what this does. As you see, boom, we got him open. That's that's a quick seven, eight yard gain right there. Quick seven, eight yard gain. His O-line is terrible. They are awful. They literally cannot block a single soul. All right, we're gonna, all right. Okay, okay, so maybe it'll work this time. Let's see, let's see if we can get this shit to work. Let's see if we can get this to work now, guys. All right, but here we go. And just look at how <laughs> wide open that is. Oh my goodness, that is so open, bro. Like, 
And like, yo, bro, it's just, I love this. I love this play, this freaking, this formation. And they got, man, and they got a freaking gum bunch too. The Patriots have a really nice gum bunch week. So it's, it's just, it's extremely difficult to defend the Patriots playbook, especially if you have somebody who knows how to run it. And I'm putting Mohamed Sanu on a drag right here this time just to see, see what we can get out of it. All right, and like, boom, you see that? Wide open, Taylor Gabriel, wide open over the middle. And you know why, you know why, you know why. It's because, you know why, yeah. Because the freaking, the linebacker gets, both of these linebackers get taken by the streak. Because they get taken by the streak. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put Muhammad Sanu on a drag route. See, I like to change the combination up so my opponent doesn't get used to it. You know, he doesn't get used to, oh, well, if I motion this guy over, it can only be one of three plays. No, because there's a lot of different route combos that can come with this. Right, there's a lot of different combos that can come with this. And look, you can even, Julio wide open because that corner, that corner right there is, is so worried about, he's so worried about Taylor Gabriel's route that he runs with, he runs with Taylor Gabriel for a minute, right? He runs with them. So he, he, Jesus, can I, yeah, there you go. So he's running with this route, he bumps him, and when he, when he takes this inside step, he's beat, period. He's beat. He takes his inside step right there, and he's beat. It doesn't matter how, boom, one step, that's all it took, look. One, one little step inside, and Julio is past him, and, and there's, there's your trade-off. There's your dot. But if he doesn't run, if he if he leaves him, if he doesn't take that step, then boom, my man Taylor Gabriel's wide open over the middle, wide the freak open. So yeah, man, that is that's a little mini scheme. It's just it's just a few plays. You know, you can always add in like quick base. You can always add in. You know, if you if you really want to, you can add in quick base just to you know draw them up, get some running in there. Uh, you can hit up, you know, halfback mid draw, yada yada yada. Come on, any of that kind of stuff. These are just a few, uh, a few of the plays that I run. Uh, I run these a whole, whole lot. I'll stay in trip side end, gun bunch, um, and wide trips. Ninety nine percent of the game. I will rarely leave these three formations. Um, sometimes I'll go into tight slots because the Patriots actually have a good tight slot playbook uh, formation as well. Um, but for the most part, I'm in trips tied in, I'm in gun bunch week, and I'm in uh, single back wide trips. Those three formations absolutely destroy people. And you know, I'm I'm going when when I can finish, even when I don't finish weekly. I, last week I went 15 and five. The week before that, where I go, I went like 17 and four or something like that. Didn't finish all my games, but bro, like yo, you know what I mean? Like come on, it's it's too easy. Anyways, guys, this is a little bit of something new. Just some tips to up your game in Madden. Um, if you did like, please be sure to smack the like. Let me know that you liked it. Comment if you want to see any kind of other mini schemes out of any other playbooks. Um, yeah, man. And, and just just show me some love. Show me that you're actually enjoying this stuff. Uh, enjoying these mini schemes. And I promise you, if you use these, put these into effect, lab with it a little bit. Because you can't just come up in here, watch this video, and be like, oh, I'm going to get top 100 weekend league now. No, you have to. You still have to lab it up a little bit. Get your timing right. Uh, get some route combos mixed in there. See some other some other uh, plays out of here. Um, but yeah, nevertheless, the, just these three plays alone can easily get you more wins. They can get you more wins if you make the right reads. Because in every one of these every one of these plays, there's, there's a player open somewhere. You just have to make the right read, you know? Um... Uh, Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If y'all enjoyed, please be sure to smack a big fat thumbs up on the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, it's your boy Primetime, and I'm out.